What's up guys, it's Jack from ZHDX Minecraft is here with a very quick tutorial on how to install the equivalent exchange 1.2.5 for obviously 1.2.5. Uh, I'm going to put this on Dropbox, it's a nice little file containing everything you need. Just unzip it and open it up and you will have everything you need. So um, let's get started. Um, I've backed up my Minecraft, just done it. I mean fresh like minecraft.gl no folders obviously that was on because i had mc patcher i'll delete all my config files out just to show you that i am in fact starting from fresh okay right now what i'm going to do is uh, if you don't know where your minecraft folder is it's in your name library application support minecraft and you go to your bin and then uh, you find minecraft.jar right click open with you can use an archive the archive utility I mean it's decent and uh, you just want to name this like minecraft backup because um, I used to delete it and then realized that was a bad idea so you just want to call this minecraft.jar this folder that's come up and not jsr not .zip or whatever and then uh, you want to just click here arrange by kind find me to inf drag it into the trash can and then you want to go to mod loader command A, command C, command V and then you want to go to your minecraft forge and then you want to arrange these by kind because this is a bit hard to install now you get cpw forge ibxm net and pulse code you just want to press command A keep holding command and go over net and pulse code to unselect them you just copy it, paste it in should ask you to replace a few files it's absolutely fine and you notice you've got net and pulse code on here so you just want to go into net minecraft then client and you want to go into net minecraft then client so you see where i'm going with this just copy and paste it in i mean it's uh, easy enough to figure out now uh... you want to go to pulse code sound codex pulse code sound codex and then you just want to copy paste and then what you have to do now is to get all your mods folder and that to pop up you have to actually boot up minecraft so uh... it's pretty easy i mean it shouldn't be too long winded it should just you know all come together you get fml with it so it tells you like what mods you got so um... okay now if you back out to your main minecraft you should now have a few things you should have forge mod loader and this little folder here called mods then you just literally want to go into equivalent exchange and oops sorry guys you want to just copy and paste the ee2 client v1.4.6.6 and uh, that's pretty much it I'll boot minecraft up just to show you it works show you I've got all my stuff single player I'll use my flat test world um, just go into my inventory as you can see, got all the stuff, proof that it works, you know, install it with too many items or not enough items to uh, show, but um, that's about it guys. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, um, and I will see you later.